Hi, I'm Daniela Graham here at the Blank Park Zoo. Today I'm here with Audrey Pullman and we'd like to tell you what's new at the zoo. Hi Audrey, who do you have here with you today? I have Kohana here and he is a red-tailed hawk. And is he part of the exhibits here at the zoo? He actually isn't on exhibit, so visitors that come to the zoo can't see him unless we bring him out. And so he has a separate cage that he stays in here at the zoo, but it's not actually open to the public. Is he part of um, a special program then? He is. He's part of our education program. So we've been working with him and training him to get used to being handled by people and coming out into the zoo and eventually actually going out off-site from the zoo and visiting schools and preschools and senior centers. Too. That's wonderful. So how do you, how, what, what's entailed in training a hawk? Training a hawk. Well, he has a perch inside of his cage and we've been training him to actually step up on this glove that we have on our hand. So we've been working with him for some time now trying to get him used to being around us and actually stepping up from his perch and stepping back down to his perch. Wonderful. So can you tell me a little bit about red tail hawks? Mm -hmm. Red-tailed hawks, you can actually find them all over North America, and they are very skilled hunters. They like to eat all sorts of small mammals and also birds and reptiles, and they can dive for those animals at speeds of 120 miles per hour. Wow, that's amazing. So this hawk, Kohana, can he, can he still fly and dive at 120 miles per hour? No, actually the reason that we have Kohana here is because he was shot in the wing. And so he was taken care of at the wildlife care clinic and then given to the zoo because he isn't able to fly. So he can't use that wing anymore. Well, thank you, Audrey, for telling us all those interesting facts about Kohana, the red-tailed hawk. And that was Audrey Pullman and I'm Daniela Graham. And that's what's new at the zoo.